Hey and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, what we're going to do is actually look at how we can add in total refresh functionality into our SwiftUI app, you know, using SwiftUI 4.0. So for this video, I'm going to be using Xcode 14, the beta version. So you'll need to use Xcode 14 or a higher version to do what I'm about to do. And another thing to do is, another thing to note, is that I'm actually running the beta here. So because I'm running the beta, you may see some UI bugs that you didn't see in the previous version of Xcode, which was Xcode 13. If you do see any you know, UI issues, um, then what you should do is file a radar with Apple. So with SwiftUI 4.0, we're actually able to add photo refresh onto scroll views. So now we don't just add, we're not just limited to having this refresh button anymore. What we can do is we can actually pull down and it'll automatically refresh the screen for us so to do that it's quite simple all we need to do is on our scroll view add the refreshable modifier so if we just go onto our app here and if we just find our scroll view so after our overlay we just simply to say refreshable and then within this refreshable block closure here we just need to say await and then we'll just say vm dot fetch users to get all the users cool so now what this is going to do is that when we actually pull down on our screen to refresh it will execute the function to basically get users so let's just see this now so if i actually pull this down you'll now see the portal refresh there and it will actually fetch our new data but i'm actually just running this on the swift ui preview but let's run this on an actual device to see what happens so if we just run it on a simulator so you can see that it works all fine if i tap my refresh button you'll see that it refreshes really quickly and it's all fine as well. If I hit my do my pull to refresh, it also pulls to refresh pretty quickly and starts fetching all of the data as well. So it's also worth noting as well that when you're actually doing this, that when you're working with iOS 15, this refreshable won't actually do anything at all because this doesn't actually work on anything below iOS 16. So you'll only see this behavior on iOS 16 and above. And if you want to learn more about portal refresh, then check out my video in the SwiftUI sessions playlist that goes over the refreshable modifier that was introduced in iOS 15 for this. Cool. So that's everything in this video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.